In today's morning rounds, can salt help people with respiratory problems breathe more easily? Around 275 dry salt therapy rooms have opened across the U.S. and Canada, too. And that's up from about a dozen back in 2010. The advocates say that these rooms can treat everything from colds to asthma. Michelle Miller is in a salt room in Dobbs Ferry, New York, with what the doctors say. Michelle, I've never heard of a salt room. Good morning to you. And neither did I before this story. Good morning. Well, people who run these salt therapy rooms take pure salt like this and grind it into tiny little particles to then circulate into rooms like this. Well, they say it fights toxins and opens up the airwaves. But many medical professionals aren't quite ready to recommend this form of treatment to their patients yet. They just relax here and breathe in? This, it's as simple as sitting back and just breathing deeply. Ellen Patrick invited us into one of the four salt rooms she owns in the New York City area, where salt covers the floor, lines the walls, and flows through the air. Her website claims halo therapy, as it's known, can help alleviate symptoms of a variety of conditions. Asthma, COPD, sinus infections, colds, flus. And what does salt do to impact that? Salt has natural healing qualities, which are antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antifungal, antiviral. Pulmonologists like Dr. Gitan Misho often have patients inhale high concentrations of salt with a nebulizer. Essentially what it does is it actually helps kind of clear secretions and mucus from the airways. The salt, she tells us, helps thin out the mucus in the airways, making it easier to cough out. But she warns people with asthma should check with their doctors before entering these rooms, as it could increase the risk of an attack among some patients. I don't see a medical utility for this, um, and I do see potential for harm. What do you say to doctors who have raised a concern? Well, I think it's, um, they should, doctors who are raising concerns should look at studies. Numerous studies overseas have explored the benefits of halo therapy, including one from Israel earlier this month, which found salt rooms may have some beneficial effects in mild asthmatic children. Yet research in the U.S. is lacking. The American Lung Association reports there are no evidence-based findings to create guidelines for salt therapy. Uh, I've been doing this for about six months now. But for some with asthma, like Antonio Staropoli, the results are already in. It's helped uh, in terms of physical activity. I've noticed a difference. Um, I don't get as winded as quickly, so it's definitely helped in that regard. Europeans have known about this for a while, seeking treatments in the Polish salt mines since the mid-1800s. These rooms are designed to simulate those caves. Would you call this a form of alternative medicine? This is not alternative medicine, it's complementary medicine. It's to be used in conjunction with your doctor's care and whatever medication you're currently using. So a typical visit to a room like this will cost you anywhere between $35 to $50 for a session lasting between 30 and 60 minutes. Uh, there are even therapies open like this for children, and they conduct yoga classes in some of these rooms, too. Nora? Oh, it's a multi-purpose room. Yeah, do you feel like licking the walls, Michelle? I love salt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, I do taste a little salt in the air. Uh, I saw you laying on the bed. Did it help you? Did it help? Uh, you know, I didn't spend that much time inside the room. I, I didn't get a full just, treatment, so okay. to speak, so I cannot right. speak to it. That All just right. mental image just is going to stick in my mind yeah. of yelling. I love salt. I love salt, it's too. It's bad for you, I know. I know. But you don't like it on walls. Between, no, I don't. You had to choose between salt and butter. Which would you choose? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I know, that's good, Salted right? butter is I know. what I would do. I know. Nothing Thank better. You, on bread. Yes. yes. Love it. Thank you, Michelle.